All right, this time, Lotion. you talking about nothing mind your own business i see i don't remember i'd be careful with lazel oh yeah she hates her she's racist she's not of this world i'd be surprised if our interests remained aligned let's hope we rapidly find a healer you seem reliable I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. Caution is a luxury we don't have. Hmm. Let's rest and wake up at first light. All right, see you later. How are we looking? I still have a spell slot. Mm, I still have two. Your taste. Guess I have to rest. Oh, I already started the rest. Huh? Didn't really need it. Part of this dungeon I didn't check out. That's how I came in. It's the other way. Stuff on the traps. Step carefully. Like it's Yankee joining Oops. our company. Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated, but a welcome one nonetheless. Someone else? Nasty surprise. Caution is what I'm up here. Heavy armor. Yeah, that's really the rest of it. Crushed. 
just takes me back ahead there. Oh, I can ritual cast it. That's what I'm doing there. I'm imagining. That's awesome. Okay. Enough waiting. I crave the shovel. I hear shouting up ahead. That's crazy. I need to do that one first. Is in front of me. Sound up here. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Nine hells! Open the gates! question.
Good, I just drew his attention. Why did I take two damage from it? No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did. I had plus eight. My path be true. That's the other one. Like Made her battle master in the other one. We'll do something different. Greece. Spike gives me my next level. Mm. I should have done this already. Let's do it. I can't shove him. Need to get out of here then. Fuck. I thought for sure he wouldn't hit me. out here compared to what I'm seeing. I'll have to look into that too. Right. Oh. Before work though, so. Hellish Rebuke. I love Hellish Rebuke. I like two things so. Look at this dude. They don't really need me. <laughs> What's that action shot? I think I'll just firebolt him. Oh, 
higher ground. Despite being Get out of here. Make way. This is alive. Got the inspiration. Why do I not have? Level up. Oh, I need seventy nine experience. here you fool we was running for our lives you led them straight to us and you let them take the druid too unbelievable to the dead at the gate. Shut it, horns! I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foulbloods ain't known for courage. You see the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. All goblins could arrive at any moment. I'm more worried about this parasite than a few goblins. We need a healer. Pack. We need to leave. about your precious borders gate i care about our lives our future refugees adventurers no one in years and suddenly we're overwhelmed well met and thank you for beating back those goblins most brave of you is there anything you need act fast if you do the ritual will be complete before too long ah i forgot you're a blow-in a few days hence, this grove will be completely concealed by thorny vines. None will be able to enter or leave. A drastic measure. But more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. I forgot about that. 
I like that it's mind flares. I pray no goblin arrow has grazed you. In this Netting game in general. Put you to right <coughs> she should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The grove will be locked down soon. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. That's what you no longer need. Sylvanas, guide your path. There's a bit of me knowing exactly where to go in here. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. Better friends than the ones hitching a ride in our skulls, at least. That's true. I'm sure you know the stories. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. They say there's no coming back. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! <sighs> you saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. I'm no stranger to the Infernal. Better to slay a devil before her fires burn common folk to ash. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath-bound to go after her, but I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. You'll need to make room if you want to partner up, though. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Gail seems very agreeable. Again! Swing and swing and... Oh, and again. Swing and swing and... I swear that Ox's gaze is following me. Huh? Oh. You're addressing me? A humble Ox. How quaint. Not my best skill. Off. This creature. 
creature isn't what it appears to be. No. You are incapable. Oh. Tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. Now, that's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this. Move. Huh. Tick tock. Funny. We don't even know these people. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. You would choose strangers over us. That's not what I Another one. What are you under there then? Ant. Or rocks. Big and slow. The keepers of this place choose different forms. Better ones. They become birds to hunt on the wing. Bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen. Only same old hay, and I cannot even eat it because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. Hiding things, thinking they're clever, not clever. Sometimes I eat the shiny bits, and they have to go looking for them on the other end. Two points, they're like refugees. <clears throat> Again, swing and swing, parry and... Ah! and again. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. You see nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. Not very good at it. You look the rocks over, but find no sign of a way through. Please, let us through! Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn! And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Screw an aggressive sword. Give him a chance. You get back. Keep back. Force my hand, and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Oh, hello. Ah, my good There's guide to monsters. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. All right. Glory. Lombard. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? 
size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Witness declined to comment on nature of dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? They <laughs> did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Oh, I'd imagine him quite displeased. Yeah, Since around, they huh? change in allegiance, these goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to door all. Oh, never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back potion. pocket. Until we meet again. I thought you were housey. The boar prances around, haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. Where's Alcin? Promise me a mate. No. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Girl. You mean parasite. She uh, eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath. Lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely do okay, it. Has some sense. It's racist here. The words of the Tree Father, spoken plain. It is as you say. Sivisif, Tila, to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin will- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. She likes his power. <clears throat> 
she's an issue. What you got, Gail? Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break? Hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Been like Survived some perils, one overcame day. some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you got Korga to release the girl. In short, I've grown to trust you. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Okay, go on. The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with. And not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. I'll spare you the finer details, but it begins with a simple biological deterioration, muscle spasms, disorientation, a slight ringing in the ears, and, if left for too long, catastrophe. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. Only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. As luck would have it, Faerun is full of them. Though I do feel obliged to point out that items of power tend to be in the hands of the powerful. There'll be danger involved. Or great cost. All right. Oh. Splendid. That'd be a nice guy. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. I know the allure magic artifacts hold. I understand their value and their power. All this to say, I understand the sacrifice I ask of you. But if I may be so bold, it's for a very good cause indeed. I hope I can count on you. You got it. All right, where's this little dumb? Nettie. I see you. Just give me a moment. A moment. This may be challenging. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. Mm -hmm. I. Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. Just rip that thing we up. need to be quick. We just this way. Please. I'm resting. The bird says nothing, trying to rest. The bird says nothing. Only the sound of its labored breath fills the silence. Head on in.
There's something in that vessel. Take a... This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. I'll do the best I can. Well, good. I'm no master Halson mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. Please, don't mind me. I'll just watch. All right. Let's see what we can do. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Just do a thing in my head. Any symptoms? <clears throat> Strange events? Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know their victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. Be my player. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out here. what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Yeah, mind players are going to be the original like you main bad have guy of the Eberron And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Join them on the spot. Watch this. Whatever he um, found there, he didn't make it back. But I scrapped it all. I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. All right. Then. Enough time, Nettie. Come on. Pretty. But I wouldn't take wyvern poison, even if we do begin to turn. Better a quick draft than ceramorphosis, nonetheless. If you 
you start to turn, I encourage you. Rat doesn't respond. It simply bears. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Mm, kind of a. Yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. I am first druid now. I protect the circle, whatever the cost. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the viper... Must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Bitch. Until I get your actual master back and tell him the dumb shit you've been doing. Right. I'm walk up here. Give it a quick save. And then call it. For now. Oh wait, no, we're going to do level ups, and then we're going to call it, because I didn't see I had level ups. Okay. She gets a jump. Battle master. Okay, so I'm going to make her battle master, an eldritch knight, or a champion. Champions just do more damage. Battle masters have all the maneuvers that are kind of fun. And here we give her some spells, which would be kind of neat. I'm somewhat tempted by Eldritch Knight. But I think I'll have enough spells. I think I'm going to go Battle Master. And then with the battle master, I have to pick some maneuvers. I think if I was to play a fighter in 5e, I would play a battle master. Um, trip attack. I like repost because it's a reaction and there aren't a ton of like special reactions that you get in this game. So Rally is nice because there's a little utility outside of it. Now I need a damage one. Goading attack seems really nice because that can be like tanking. But. No, I think that's some. Yeah, I think it becomes a little more utility, so she becomes a little more support-based. 
I can still punish a miss if she's in a one-on-one -on -one and they're not looking to like flee. Give you a little more control over that reaction dice too. Let's do him next. Okay, so they have him set as an arcane trickster. The other character I'm playing is a thief thief, so I don't think I'm going to do the thief, even though you get the extra bonus action, which is really, really nice. Um, I mean, this is kind of nice. Arcane Trickster had some fun stuff I was thinking of messing around with in it, though. Because um, I was debating on this with my other character. But then the rest of the party went very heavy in magic, so I didn't do this one. But there were a couple things I thought could be kind of fun to have on a rogue. One was Minor Illusion. Shocking Grass would be kind of fun. Spells and his int is. They are. He's not very good at these, though. I was gonna do Find Familiar to make it, like, even better. But I've kind of been thinking I might even. You know what? I'm gonna do this instead. I was kind of thinking I might make him a monk because I'm playing a rogue in the other one. So, I'm really thinking about respecting him, period. I know there's no monk NPCs, so that's probably what I'll do. Now he gets to learn two spells, and he's got a lot to choose from. What's his type of wizard? He's Abjuration, I think, right? Well, it's multi classic. Mirror image is fun. Magic Missile Classic, right? Cut a dagger sounds kind of fun, though. Yep. I don't take any abjuration spells. Where are those? Two spells too. That's okay. I'm gonna stick with these two. Prepare spells. All right. What do I got? Calm down. And finally. Cards. Well, let's focus here first. So, Lore, Valor,
or swords. Make me a little bit more fighty. Which could be nice. But I don't think I need that. I do need to pick another spell. Alright, I can get a level 2 spell now. Did I just take Cloud of Daggers with What's-His-Face? No, I can't remember, so I'm not going to do it. Maybe Heat Metal. Do I go Lore? I think I'm gonna lean hard into the RP aspect, so over the like social aspect of him. Alright. Goodbye.